What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be checking out the Red Dead Redemption 2 endings. We finished off Red Dead Redemption 2 recently and we finished it off with the high honor ending and I loved that ending. It was really fun to see how it played out. Rest in peace Arthur Morgan. That was a very sad ending and then we got to see what happened to Micah in the epilogue. It was great. It was fantastic. Great ending to the story, but we have some other endings that we get to watch. I got my friend to scour the internet for videos and this is what they sent me. So if you guys have anything that you would like to add in the comment section down below, I would truly appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video and let's just jump into it. The other endings that we didn't get in Red Dead Redemption 2. So here we are. This is the low versus high honor ending video. We're going to be watching the low honor all the way to the end. Um, shouts out to Red Nitrate. Really appreciate you for making this video. All their links will be in the description down below. Let's jump into it. Come on, Dutch. Come on. I don't know if I'm ready for this again. Oh no, what? You're not better than me, Morgan. What do you say, you fool? Damn you. <gasps> Damn us both! <laughs> Holy crap. And then he laughed. Oh, it's a wolf instead of a deer. I think I remember you guys telling me that. I would be so pissed if I got this ending. Seeing him die like that, oh, that's horrible. On, that's not a way for Arthur to go out. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I got to go to my family. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this. I left with John. I didn't return for the money. Oh, he gives him the satchel now. And this. And get out of here. I'll see you around, John Marston. Be safe. Oh my God. Hey, hold on, this song's kind of fire. So you're just going back to the cave, right? Micah, you dirty rat! I'm right here! Come and get me! Damn it. Oh, he's out there. This is kind of cool with the music also. I like this. Yeah. Micah! 
He's out there somewhere. I wonder how Arthur dies this time. Stop hiding, Marker. We're coming for you, Morgan. You turn weak, Dutch. He literally told him that he turned weak. I'm bracing myself. <laughs> Do you actually get the money though? Get that this has to be the best song in the game. Woo! Love the hip fire there. Dual revolvers is fitting for this part. Okay, the camp's on fire. We had that camp for so long. We lost everything. Oh wait, he's actually gonna go find it. I wanna see how much money it was. It had to be a ton. He'd been saving it forever. Under that wagon right there. Oh, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. Isn't that crazy that it was this close to us the whole time? He found it. All right. How much is it? Moment of truth. Open it up. Holy. <laughs> Holy $42,000. You know how much money that is back then? What the actual f That is a crap on a money. Bro, we're the new Levitic Leviticus Cornwall with that money. Oh God. Oh. Oh, I know that hurt. And I figured that you and I had some unfinished business. I mean, I love this little scene right here. You fighting him with knives? That's cool. I was literally crying when 
Arthur was fighting Micah. That was such a sad scene, man. I felt so powerless. If he didn't have TB, he would have killed Micah. Easy. You failed. I love the animations for the fighting here. You weak fool. I've waited a long time to kill you. Oh, I know. You goddamn snake. Snake. Okay, and you're a vulture. Rob and Dutch after all he's done for you. I'm half dead and you still can't kill me. Right. Still having a hard time. Oh, slashed him. Oh, you got me pretty good, Black Lung. Come on now. Oh, he has a scar now. Oh, man. You're going to die. Oh, there's Dutch. Just stop this. Both of you fools. Ah! He's turned, Dutch. I told you. He's turned. He no. came back here to rob you. I didn't turn, Micah. You did. Tell Dutch what you said to Agent Melton. Shut your mouth. You're talking nonsense. You're the rat, Micah. I'm Molly, Dutch. Him. You're dying, Black Lung. Yeah, you're dead. Inside, you're dead. Come on, Dutch. Let's get the money and get out of here. Dutch. Let's oh, go. man. Now you can really see it in Dutch's face that he doesn't trust him. It's nonsense. Of course it is. Dutch just walks away. Wait, 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 wait. So what happens to Arthur here? So Micah takes the money. Is he just going to lay down somewhere and die? Oh, it is similar to the other ending. To see this again. It doesn't get any easier. Get greedy, but Mark, uh, Micah had a scar, uh, scar on his eye. His eye was completely taken out. Sure. But I also wanted you, you rat, dead. Greedy snakes always get killed first. Why you should... <laughs> oh shit! Look what I got and done. Looks like you lost, Black Lung. I didn't lose <laughs> that winning. I stopped you. And I told everyone you were a rat. That's winning enough for me. Mind! <laughs> oh, Arthur. You damn fools. I told you, Dutch. That he'd come back here to rob us, like I said he would. I came to take what's mine. 
You rat. I ain't no rat, Black you Lung. You are my kid. You're the rat. Now, Molly Dutch, it's him. Him! Kill him! Not Molly! Now, Miss Grimshaw! Not even going. <laughs> You're dying, Black Lung. And you've gone crazy. Let him damn us all, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. You gotta go. Dutch. Let's go. I never... Dutch! Well... <gasps> no. Please don't. It's been a lot of fun. Stabbed him right in the back. Just like you did to the whole gang. You snake. Just like you did to Dutch. Oh man, that one, that one got me. Arthur using his last bit of breath to tell Dutch what happened. Seeing Micah stab Arthur right in the back. See that part right there? I like the... I like how that happened. Wow. I can't believe there was so much money. $42,000. And just everything that happened... It's just so sad to see. And all of the people who were innocent that ended up dying because of Micah. Because he was the rat. Because he wanted to you know work with the pinkertons and such and backstab everyone miss grimshaw didn't have to die molly didn't have to die it's just unfortunate man all right i'm gonna watch this video this is by mr boss ftw their links will be in the description down below um the title is what happens to micah if you take the money or help john in red dead redemption 2 secret ending hey, let's going, check guys? it out mr boss for the win here and in today's red dead redemption 2 video we're going to be figuring out what happens to micah at the end of the game if you choose to help john escape or you go back for the money so this is probably the biggest decision that you'll have to make in red dead redemption 2 and it occurs in the final mission in chapter 6 before you reach the epilogue red dead redemption now, at this point of the story, the gang has been split into two different sides. One side consists of Dutch, Micah, Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela, Joe, Cleet. And one side consists of Arthur Morgan, John Marston, Mrs. Adler, mm -hmm. Tilly, Abigail, Jack, etc. Now, the reason Arthur is prompted to make this decision in the first place is because of this moment that he has with Abigail before riding back to camp. Take a listen to this. You're good women, good people, the best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. He sure did. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. And a queen. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> yeah, I remember this part. I cried during this part too. <laughs> 
Because you knew what was going to happen so by that part. There, Abigail actually gives Arthur a key, and that is the key to Dutch's chest that he actually has hidden inside of the Beaver Hollow Caves. Now, we're not sure where he acquired this chest or what money is inside, whether that's black water or a secret stash that he's been building up over the years, but eventually you will reach a point in the mission where you and John have finished fighting your way through the Pinkertons, and Arthur sort of stops to tell John he needs to make a decision, and this is what happens. Come on, Arthur. So in this instance right here, if you choose to go back for the money, Arthur will head back to Beaver Hollow where things are essentially burning to the ground and he will make his way inside of the caves where underneath the wagon, just as Abigail said, you'll actually find a chest full of money. And what's crazy is the amount of money that Arthur finds. $42,870. In today's Crazy dollars, amount. that would be the equivalent of like well over a million. A million, so a yeah. Life-changing amount of money. So you can clearly see why Arthur would be tempted in order to go back for this because that amount of money can change lives forever. Forever. Now, as you guys know, as you attempt to leave the cave, you actually get ambushed by Micah. And this is what happens. <laughs> So after the ambush occurs, you actually get in a knife fight with him. It's one of the coolest scenes in the entire game as you're it was cool. fighting him to the death, surrounded by a ring of fire. And then eventually you will take a mighty swipe at Micah where this happens. Oh. Oof. I know that hurt. Come on now. Let's end it. So as you guys saw there, even though Arthur lost the fight and Micah ends up killing him, Arthur got a swipe at Micah's face and he actually cuts right across his, his eye. And we don't know if Micah lost his eye here or if it was just severely damaged, but that is significant right there. And it actually is plays an impact later on in the game. Oh, really? So you guys know the only other time you see Micah after that is in the Mission American Venom, which actually happens in the epilogue. Yes. Where Rockstar went to some insane level of detail here because this is what will happen if you, number one, went back for the money, slashed Micah's eye, and then number two, proceed to make your way to the epilogue with the American Venom mission, and this is what Micah will look like. So could you guys spot the difference right there? Micah has a scar he has a scar his left eye, seven years later from when Arthur slashed him. That is really cool. Now, that is no cool. The attention to detail is crazy. Are different. He uh, doesn't say anything unique because of his eye. And there is look at a that. special outcome that occurs. It's only cosmetic. But I thought that was incredibly cool. And again, it's just a little... Cosmetic or not, it's awesome. Show you Rockstar was paying attention to everything. And believe it or not, it is different than if you were to choose the other option, which is to help John Marston get to safety. Now, the reason that outcome is different is because if you help to choose John Marston get to safety, you'll essentially climb your way up to a mountain where you will eventually get ambushed by Micah, but this time, no instead knives. of getting into a knife fight, you more or less get into a fist fight that has either Arthur shot at the end or stabbed with a knife depending on how, what your honor level is. It's different if you have high or low honor. So in this case, Micah lives just like he did in the other outcome. However, he does not have the scar over his eye. And that is reflected if you do that ending and you also get to the epilogue and choose a That's American really well. cool. Because as you guys know, he won't have the scar over his eye. So right. I just thought that was an incredibly cool detail there from Rockstar. And now you might understand why in some versions of this final mission of the epilogue American Venom, Micah will have one eye, whereas in some versions he will have two eyes, which you might. Well, that's interesting because he calls John Scarface, but 
if he had if you do that ending where he gets the scar on his eye it's kind of hypocritical right because now he does have a scar on his face <laughs> not have known why that was i'm surprised he doesn't say anything about that actions in game caused that to happen though once again i absolutely i love feel like that should change the dialogue there like this whether it's certain things in game that only happen because you have high honor or low honor or instances like this because you chose a different route at the end which ultimately right. led to the same story both ways where Arthur dies, but it does have an impact on the main antagonist and villain of the game, Micah Bell, which again, I do think is pretty cool. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys. In this, this whole game was today. cool. What do you Hopefully mean? Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys that was awesome though so he definitely watching. told me something i didn't know i did, had no idea about the whole the scar on his eye at the end that's actually really fun i think that's why my friend sent me this video because he actually explains that and shows it that's cool because the video that i watched before didn't have that so wow this was awesome to see the alternate endings to a game that i put so many hours into and just loved every second of I want to play this game again and again and again and again. I think this is probably in my top 10 video games of all time, for sure. For sure, no doubt. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the most memorable experience that I've ever had with a video game. It's definitely left a great impression on me and made me want to play more video games. Like It's literally like inspired me to continue to play the games that I hear people talk good about because every time I hear someone talk good about a game, I just kind of like roll my eyes because I'm just like, oh, I can't be that good, right? And this was one of those games where I was like, oh, I can't be that good. I don't get what everybody likes about it. It can't be as good as they say, right? But here I am playing the game finally and figuring out that no, those people were right. This game is actually that good. And I will be hyping up my friends in the future and telling them to play this game. Because I have a few friends, and I've mentioned this a few times in the playthrough and in my reaction videos for Red Dead Redemption 2. I have a few friends who haven't completed this game yet, and they're very shaky about it. They were exactly like me. They started the game a couple of times, dropped it, just couldn't get to the ending. And now I'm just going to be like, no, dude, trust me. Trust and believe. I just beat the game recently. It is fantastic. All those things that you've heard about the game are true i mean this this was a fun experience thank you guys so much for just sticking with me from the beginning of the let's play all the way to the end it was a very long let's play there was a lot of parts i think i put like 60 hours worth of videos on my youtube channel for it so thank you for supporting all of them and helping me and giving me advice throughout the entire let's play there's going to be a lot more playthroughs here on this channel. I really appreciate you guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. And that's it. We're done with Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope will never die. Orale.